Welcome to the Equality for Unity TED Talk. Here we discuss key issues such as gender inequalities, ageism, and racial discrimination. The big question is, how do these inequalities affect our lives? More importantly, how do these inequalities affect poverty? Ageism So what is ageism? Ageism is the prejudice or discrimination against a particular age group, especially towards the elderly. Ageism is most common in the workplace, as there are cases where people don't believe the abilities of younger people or look down on older people's abilities because they can't use technology and their health. Okay. Welcome to today's Equality for Unity TED Talk. Today, we are going to talk about ageism in our society. We have invited Ms. Yolanda Gao to answer some of our questions. How should one cope up with aging? Being an old, uh, uh, old, you should uh, no, accept it. Acceptance. Yan ang important. You should accept. Kasi yung iba, hindi ina-accept na old na sila. Ganon. Pag inaccept na inaccept mo na old ka, magiging masaya ka. Di ba? Kasi you accept it. Eh. Pero makulit pa din. Sometimes makulit. <laughs> Pero yung mga bata, kailangan you have respect to the old one. Yan. Kahit kay ako, kay daddy, kay mami. Basta ko sino matanda, kay achi. Ganon. Other people, neighbor, uh, we should have respect. How has aging affect you? Uh, in my age, old nang tingin, old. Pero in my mind, I'm still young. Like 20, 30, it's the same. It's the same feeling. <laughs> but in my body, they are ano, uh, different. Uh, I uh, I feel many uh, uh, painful in my body, bone, hands, my hand and my feet, muscle, muscle tingling, tingling and numbness. That is a uh, ano, getting old. That is the ano, one sign of getting old. Yeah. So I should uh, I should uh, have a supplement, vitamin. Ganon, para, ano, para sa vein, para sa muscle. Or have you... Sometime, sometime at night, cannot sleep. Cannot sleep. So hard to sleep. Why? So, I'm, it's, go, it's getting old. That is the ano, characteristic of ano, matanda. <laughs> Nahirapan na matulog. So in the evening, I already wake up at... Uh, Two, three, three o'clock in the morning, and then I meditate, I pray, uh, uh, with the Holy Spirit mingle with the Lord, yeah. So I can enjoy my life. Yeah. And share to my grandchildren. How does the Philippines treat their elderly? Meron nga kami privilege to the government. We have privilege. We have twenty percent discount in uh, restaurant and medicine, and going to uh, see a movie. Uh, we enjoying that twenty percent senior citizen. The ano, privilege of the senior to the government. Affect, okay. ma-affect ang society ng old, 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 ano, wala naman. Talagang ano na yun eh, given na yun eh. Everybody getting old eh. Di ba? Yes. So, walang ano, walang, walang effect sa government, sa anong society. Sa tingin ko naman, wala naman, unfair treatment sa Kasi sa Pilipinas, sa mas nire-respect nga nila yung old, di ba? Paano yung work? Like, parang, if you're old. What? Yung work. 
if you're old sometimes work, you should you should work ano kailangan mag hire work. you work on din na nila ano pero ngayon in government accept daw ano na senior ah, lalo na sa Manila ina ano ni require ni ano ni mayor Scott Moreno meron mga senior citizen na tinatanggap sa mga ano yan yung food chair ano chamber food ano hindi hindi food ano yung mga McDo Jollibee food chain yan yan yung tinatanggap yung mga old pero ang work nila I think only three times a week yan mga senior meron na rin silang work ganun Sino support ng government ang mga senior hindi hindi yung untreatment hindi yung unfair treatment kundi sino suporta ng government in Manila What can you say to other senior citizens Positive dapat positive ang ano dapat positive ang outlook Yan. It depend naman eh how it eh depende naman iyon sa ano situation ata. Ano ba? O kung paano mo ito tanggapin. Yon. Kung kung masama yung iniisip mo, di hindi maganda. Kailangan positive parate. Di ba? Yes. Kailangan parating din natin isipin yung discrimination. Kailangan low, low profile tayo. Huwag tayo nagdi-discriminate. Yung ganun ba? Tama ba yun? Tama ba? Yes. Yes. Welcome to today's Equality for Unity TED Talk. In today's episode, we will be talking about ageism or age discrimination. Today, we have invited Ms. Karen Fernandez to talk about her views on the topic. Okay, so for our first question this evening is, what do you think ageism is? And have you heard of it before? Okay, so um, if racism is at its simplest definition, discrimination against race, then I think ageism might be discrimination on the basis of age. So I actually have never heard of the term before until recently when you invited me to this interview. Have you ever experienced or witnessed ageism before? Um, I might have, but it may not have registered as discrimination to me. Okay, so I'll give you an example. So I'm a young doctor. Sometimes I do get the feeling that when I'm examining an older patient, they may not respect uh, my findings as opposed to when uh, my senior does the exam. So is this discrimination? Maybe. So, But I would concede that compared naman to my senior, I currently lack uh, the experience that she has. So again, is this discriminatory or is it just, it is what it is? For me, it's a little bit of both, but um, I'm not offended by it. How do you think ageism affects our society? So with ageism or discrimination on the basis of your age, particularly when you are older, uh, society is affected when you are labeled, for example, you are unemployable because of your age. So I still remember maybe being told when you get to a certain age, your opportunities for employment become less. Uh, so that the advice was given to me was personally, I must get to a certain level of achievement uh, before that time comes when I am no longer viable. Uh, to the workforce. I don't think it has affected my work um, performance or goals negatively. It's just something that I might, you know, think from time to time. If you had a chance, would you say to uh, all the victims of this age discrimination? I would tell them don't listen to what others say. Just keep doing what is right, you know, because there are a lot of things that we cannot control like how people perceive us, etc. We can control is how we are stated against because of our age, uh, work harder and don't, and don't let it affect uh, or define your life. How do you think ageism relates to poverty? Ageism, I, have, I haven't really thought about this question, ageism, parang how it relates to poverty. 
I would, I mean, poverty in itself is a is a problem because it it uh it discriminates, eh, you know. So and then you add to it the the age factor. So for example, with poverty, you're already discriminated because you don't have equal opportunities with those who have access to let's say our resources, diba. Right? So when you add to it the age factor, so you're already parang you're already poor, and then you don't parang you're at, at a certain age na you don't have access to get yourself out of it. Then that's like double one. So parang it's it, it gets harder. So um, yeah, that's double the discrimination, I think. Thank you so much for joining us in today's TED Talk. Ageism is defined as the discrimination against individuals or groups based on their age. It certainly has a negative impact to society, and one evident example can be seen in workplaces. Ageism in workplaces persists both for the younger workers and the older workers. Younger employees are usually looked down upon by their peers because they assume that they must lack the experience, knowledge, or skill to do well in their new job and therefore are not as comparable to them. This perspective is definitely not true because there are a lot of young talents that are able to show promising results in what they do and even outperform people who have been in the company for a longer time. Older employees, on the other hand, are also discriminated because some people may believe that their knowledge may be outdated or that they are incapable of performing at their peak because of their old age. One way we can reduce ageism is to acknowledge people for who they are as a whole and treat each other with mutual respect despite the differences in age, race, gender, or color. Other ways to prevent ageism is to establish anti-discrimination laws and to abolish the mandatory retirement ages. It affects the older people in the society because the older people will have a hard time to pay the bills or taxes if they don't have any close relative that can support them which can cause them depression and can affect them physically and mentally to the point where they can harm themselves. We can avoid this by giving job opportunities or programs to older people to their ability so that they can provide for their, themselves or put up fundraisers for older people who cannot afford to work anymore but are in debt. So to start off, I would like to say my definition of ageism. Um, which is stereotyping or discrimination against individuals or a group of people uh, based off of their age. Sometimes this is casual and may also be systematic. And in society nowadays, um, one instance this can be seen is, for example, when businesses discriminate against older people. Um, this is because of economic factors. Businesses prefer to employ younger people due to them needing to pay less in fees and compensations um, with regards to healthcare. And another this way discrimination can be seen, um, ageism, is when people view younger people as inexperienced. Um, this is because people often associate age with wisdom. Although this may be true to some extent, um, this is a generalization and this sort of creates a rift between the older people and the younger people um, due to mainly their age. And this of course may go hand in hand with sexism and racism as this follows the same train of thought of discriminating against a uh, a specific group of people based off of certain factors. Uh, this can cause hatred between the age groups and cause sort of um, conflict. One more modern example is the meme called boomers. So young people uh, call older people boomers. This can cause sort of a feeling of isolation and being targeted by society on behalf of the older people and older generation. So I believe that one way that we can sort of reduce this is understanding and sympathy. Um, this is because 
sympathy is needed due to the fact that putting yourself in their shoes can help you understand their predicament and understand what they're going through, which in turn sort of reduces the ageism. And the other one is normalization of different ages. Um, this is because normalization is needed so that we know that everyone goes through what everyone goes through, which is aging. Um, everyone started out as young people, gradually became older people. So this sort of mindset can help reduce the number of discriminations based off of age. Um, I also believe that education is another important thing because if you're well educated you have the capability to understand and and act in a way that isn't detrimental on both sides so i believe that um who is planning on abolishing mandatory retirement ages so this sort of allows older people to work um despite of reaching a certain age and in the u.s i believe that there is certain anti-discrimination laws in place um, that prohibits employment discrimination against people aged 40 years and older and also in netherlands there have been proactive screening vacancy announcement so this sort of prevents the age discrimination so yeah